Hi, welcome to another episode of E-Bike Insights from the Electric Bike Company. You know, we get asked, what happens when I need to leave my bike for a long period of time? Perhaps over the winter or I have it at a vacation spot and I need to just leave my bike there. What do I do to make sure that my bike is, is you know, maintained properly? Well, the beautiful thing about the Electric Bike Company bikes is we make all our bikes with stainless rust-resistant hardware. We, we ensure that we've got puncture-resistant tires and we, we, we basically make the bike maintenance-free. The, the most important thing is to make sure your tires are pumped to the right PSI, between 40 and 60, and you change out your brake pads every so often. But besides that, very little maintenance on our bikes. The big part is the battery. So what do you do with maintaining your battery once you have your battery sitting around for you know, more than sort of three or four months? Well, I wanted to quickly explain something. Inside each of our battery cases is really a battery pack. So this is a typical battery pack that you'll find in nine, basically every electric bike. And it has three different outputs. One is the switch, it's a master switch. The other is the charge port where you actually plug your charger in. And then this is the discharge port. So this is where you get your power from. So every battery is really similar. It's just a, it's just a block with the three different switches on. Now, why do I show you that? Because I actually opened up one of our packs and I wanted to show you, this. these are the cells that are inside here. These are the 18650. We only use one of the top three cells. It's either Samsung, Panasonic, or LG cell. They're certified, they, they're top of the line. And uh, they've been put in, in parallel or series, depending on what your amp hour and what your, what your power um, requirements are. We only use uh, 48 volt batteries here at the electric bike company. And the battery pack is sort of like on a block shape. Then on top here is a BMS, a battery management system. So this, this is connected, these little wires are connected to each one of your cells that are in series. And this, this, this little computer that's here, that's electric, this um, battery management system, balances. It's sometimes called a battery management system, sometimes it's called a, a balancing management system. So it balances all your cells. Now over time, what ends up happening is if this a small amount of current can actually be drawn off your battery by the BMS. So the battery management system, because it's trying to balance your cells all the time, it actually draws a little bit of current. And what that can do is over time, when your bike has been left for a period of time, it can actually drain the battery and you can't charge it anymore. So what we do is we attach our power switch to the BMS and not the power switch to the battery. And what that happens, what, what that allows us to do is when you switch off the main power to your battery, it actually then switches off the BMS. And that BMS then won't draw down your battery over time. Once you switch this back on, it automatically activates the BMS and it balances the cells. So what we suggest is when you are leaving your bike over time, switch the, the switch, your, your display off, but then go to the back of your battery and switch that power switch off then that allows you to leave your battery for a lot longer. We would also suggest that before you leave, charge your battery, fully charge your battery. Now, often people say, well, you don't want to keep your battery fully charged or you want to keep it half charged or whatever. We don't suggest that. We suggest charge your battery fully, then switch off that main power switch and your battery will last at least three to six months without even ever having to touch it. Also, keep it in a, in a, in a, inside a garage or keep it in a, in a, uh, in a cooler space, ideally, and uh, then it'll last even longer. We give a five-year battery warranty, but we think if you look after your battery, it'll last between 10 and 15 years. So good luck. Hope that helps, and uh, we'll see you next time.